What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode of Terrible Frame Rate Simulator 2015. <laughs> uh, space Engineers. Also known as Space Engineers. Um, so, I wanted to extend the pistons on one side for this uh, gun battery array that we kind of built in the last episode to get an idea for how the extension looks. Um, so as you can see, the back of the one barrel, or one cannon, when it's retracted, is about one, two spaces back. So it extends at about two spaces, give or take. Um, when, when you've got these fully extended. Which, I did this because I've been getting some comments about, like, kind of one of those, the pistons aren't really necessary. And I'm, I wanted to see how necessary they really were. Um, so for example, if this barrel right here were concealed type of thing, like if that was concealed, you'd have that much more sticking out when they're extended. It's not I kind of like that, I just don't know... I don't know if it's conducive, is the problem here. Um, I don't know if it will actually end up working for how we want to do it. The other reason I decided to test this is because I need to reconfigure the conveyor system for the catwalks to work. Um, catwalks are kind of like Akum's Razor. The simplest solution is the usually the correct one. Because all I really needed to do was have it one or two spaces over, maybe two so that we could do a wall, and just bring it out, cut over, be fine. Or bring it in, back out, and then whatever. It didn't need to go really far out. So my theory here was to reconfigure this to where each um, conveyor bay was essentially a step down. Um, and what I mean by that is, as you can see here, I started to experiment with it. Here's the problem. The Anything on the uh, extended end of the piston is considered a different ship. So what that means is I can't break this one piece without disconnecting the whole dang thing. And I've been trying to work with this, but it's actually proving to be quite difficult. Um, I haven't tried removing some of this stuff, so maybe this will work. Maybe that'll work. Hold on. Okay. I turned mirror mode off, actually, because I had been working with... Um... See, like, that won't work. Why won't it work on this side, but it worked on the other side? I don't get that kind of stuff. It works here. But it won't work here, which is, like, completely identical. Oh, it's because the piston's extended. Huh. Well, now, ain't that interesting. Alright, let's test this theory over here on this one. If I break this, replace that, Break that. So what that's doing... Yeah, okay, so if the pistons are extended, we can kind of build around them. Hmm. Now that is intriguing. So, some of you might be wondering, well, what about this side? Well, what's going... Here, let me actually just go ahead and extend all these so I can work with mirror mode and, and do it on both sides. Um, because we're going to need to do that anyway. Ooh, um, well, heh, <laughs> about that. Oh, I can check and see the ones that aren't extended. So that one needs to go. It should be all of the even numbers. Yeah, okay. Because I figured out that it... It was basically all of the um, 
all of the odd numbers are the right side and all the even numbers are the left side with the exception of two. This is piston one and that's piston two. The rest of them are all uh, odd on this side, even on this side, and the other exception is the center one is something. It's an, uh, it's an odd, now that I think about it. Okay. So if I place that there... Now I'm not turning mirror mode on here because we basically already did this on the other side. Okay. So now... This is connected. Now what's interesting is this one over here is red. How did that happen? Whoa, how did that happen? That's fine. Perfect distance. Oh, I got rid of this conveyor. That's what it was. Okay. So now we're set up the same way on both sides. And all the pistons are out so we can actually work with them. We're going to turn mirror mode on. Um, actually, for this I'm going to turn this off because this is just this one piston area. So what I'm essentially doing here... Um, that's actually unnecessary. I don't need to do that on this one. I wasn't thinking about that. So, what I'm actually doing is I'm trying to bring these out. For example, instead of having this all the way back here, we're going to extend this, break this one, attach this one, and now we're going to re-break all this stuff and from here, instead of running it along the inner wall where the catwalk's going to go, we're actually going to run it from here. And do something like that. So that now it's connected, and I don't want to break this because it's a attached to that at the moment. So let's go ahead and fix the rest of these before we clean up the rest of the blocks. So we'll do that. Same thing here. And like I said, this is essentially going to separate them. Now whether I end up keeping the pistons or not is irrelevant. Like this design is still going to hold because it's still extending them without the basically the added byproduct of having to take up the back wall, we can just extend them out. Um, and this is going to be a twofold. Since we're already out here, I'm actually going to place one right there as well. And we'll have to do an inner one off of this. And... Some of this stuff won't be here. I hope this will hold and won't break when we retract the pistons. Alright, so there's that. Now on this side, we're going to break that one, put that there. Uh, I don't know if I should come in on the bottom of this or not. I guess it won't really matter. I was thinking it would interfere with these other pistons less, but I guess it really wouldn't matter at all. So we're just going to do that. Alright, so now what that lets us do is we can get rid of all of this. I believe that center one's the only one that has its own little conveyor sticking out. Which again, we don't really need. We could do the same thing here. And I'm actually going to just for aesthetic sake, to be honest. Uh, leave that there for a second. And we're going to break this one right here and place a curve. Oh, turn that off. So we can see what I'm doing. Turn that back on. Okay, so that way it's all just, it's matching that the conveyors are always at the end. What did 
to just break? Where did the... It scares me when I do that and then nothing happens. I'm like, what just broke? Where did it go? Seriously, what is happening right now? Is anyone... What the heck? Okay, can I... Can I activate mirrors? Is that a thing anymore? Sometimes it reminds me that it, this is still an alpha. <laughs> that it'll just do really, really weird, derpy things, and you're kind of like, um, what? Okay. So with this in mind, we can actually start dismantling the old system. So we can get rid of all this. We can get rid of this stuff. Actually, we can get rid of all of this. So that's what I meant by making some more room. It expands the conveyor system out further. Instead of being right up, right up against the wall, it kind of expands all this out, but still keeps everything connected. Uh, let's see. What else can I get rid of? Get rid of this one. Um, that's the main root now, the main source. So I think that will clear everything up. Except for you, apparently. We just want to be stubborn. Um, let's see. All I'm seeing is yellow lights, which means everything's still connected. But like I said, you can see that this opens everything up. That now everything's connected, but it leaves us room to bring the catwalk through here with basically unhindered without any kind of issue or problem, um, which is cool. Now, again, this does not affect the piston setup. Like, we can keep the pistons, we don't have to keep the pistons, it's completely whatever. I am going to make a group though and call this um, oh, what is it? Bow Cannon Array Pistons. Oops. There we go. And Let's just reverse them all and retract them. Let's make sure that this doesn't interfere with anything. Probably should have saved it before doing that, just in case I get a bunch of like, blang, 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 bzz, you know, and everything breaks, but whatever. All right, sweet. Looks like it worked. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. I, and it makes me kind of want to keep the pistons in play. Um, simply because I just think that adds a little bit of something of like extend the main deck guns and then they just kind of stick out of the of the hull. I just think that would be a cool idea. Um, some people were advocating to just build them out further to where they just protrude out of the front of the ship. Uh, just kind of like part of the barrel like this dark part here just sticks out the whole time. That's another solution. I mean it's not bad um, it would be cool. It still would, I agree with the comments, it still would be very intimidating looking at this pointed at your ship. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty intimidating gun array right there. Um, we are missing one set, it looks like, actually. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't do the bottom there because that's where the catwalk was. That's what it is. And for those of you that may not know, or if I just neglected to mention it, this is going to end up being the control room for it. Like, yeah, um, role playing this here, but like maintenance and, you know, heat distribution, all that crap. Okay, now, this part we kind of need to fix in order to move on with the catwalk and bring it around. Um, oh, and that's the other thing. I need to paint these suckers. Uh, I'm not too worried about the conveyors. You're not going to see them, but the pistons and the cannons, they need to be, like, dark, man. They need to be dark, like the rest of the ship. 
I mean, we kind of do have this recurring color scheme going on here. So it's probably a good idea to keep said color scheme in play. And the pistons, eh, I don't really need to color them because you're not going to see those. Uh, they're not going to stick out far enough to actually be noticed, but eh. Okay, so from here, I know we've got this block lined up correctly now, because if I place a block there, it'll be on the other side. So we have one, two, and then a four split, and then two different directions. So let's see where this ends up over here. See, that block's there now. So I know that's right. So one, two... Okay, so it's this part that we have kind of messed up here. Now, this block is connected to this, which connects all this stuff. So we should... Oh, but I don't over there. Alright, I'm turning mirror mode off. I don't get a red screen anywhere. Uh, because I'm going to need to get rid of that. And I don't want to replace that on the other side. Now we can bring this to here, and we can get rid of all this. Um, actually, let me connect that for a second so I can get rid of this. And then we're going to turn that. And then we can clear all this. Alright. So theoretically... We just fix that. And this one is in line with the wall. And this one is in line with the wall. Perfect. Alright. So now we're now we're on the same page here. Um, from I'm gonna take this back a little bit though. And bring this a little bit closer to the wall. And I know I'm going to have to fix this corner later, but it's an easy fix, so I'm not worried about it. I don't know why. It's something in how the mod is set up for this catwalk system. Um, but the corners don't flip. Like, you'll get the same direction over on the other side. It's just kind of weird that most mods... I mean, like, the vanilla conveyor blocks and everything are conducive to mirror mode, so it's a little strange to me that the rest of these, like, kind of don't behave properly. But, I mean, it is mod versus developer, so it kind of makes sense. But you can see what I'm talking about right there. I'm sure all of you have seen it before. One thing that I'm doing here, this corner is not visible on the inside of the hangar. So it doesn't really matter what we do to it. So because of that fact, all I have to do is correct this to look like the rest of the catwalk. And we just basically made our inner wall here without really even having to build another layer of wall. So there's that. Otherwise, I would have had to bring this out further and then deal with this as a wall. This way I can make this a one-by-one one hallway. Um, and it'll be perfectly fine. Alright, and again, let's attach something here to hold this all in place. Turn off mirror mode, get rid of that, and we need a split. Oops, no. Get rid of that. And the catwalk's done. Awesome. At least for this section. And yes, I could have done the same thing over here, and I could have brought it closer, but it's whatever. I don't think this will actually affect the uh, wall. Or the outer wall. It should be fine. Um, while we're right here, though, let me turn off mirror mode. Place a couple of blocks here to hold the corners together. And let's correct these corners so that I don't forget about them. I know I've forgotten about other corners that need to be fixed. It just kind of goes with the territory, I suppose. Um, Alright. So it's at this point that we can start... Now, there is another thing. Uh, some have suggested, which isn't a bad idea. I'm just working out the logistics of how I want to actually do it. 
Um, some have suggested to do um, phasers with the gun batteries. Um, like I had mentioned in the last episode, using the Romulan disruptors or something. This is one of those things that, like, it's totally doable, but I'm trying to work out how I want to do it. Do I want to attach a couple of these to each of the cannons and then reconfigure the conveyor system again to where... That would be a lot of work, I'm not going to lie, because um, it wouldn't work with the pistons. I'd have to take all of these cannons off and put a conveyor on the end of the piston and then do... Um, a cannon in the center and then have conveyor tubes that protrude from the sides of the conveyor so that you could basically because I'm trying to make this to where it also works in survival if someone wants to build it or port it in or whatever um, so you have to have everything hooked up to where it can get ammo and I'm pretty sure the disruptors work the same way so that's my only thing is it's like if I put one like here I would have to have some kind of conveyor that comes up and connects to the back and all that kind of stuff. I don't really want to do that. So if I add these, they're going to be separate from these extendable gun batteries, which means I don't I I don't really know what that means. Like that would actually I feel like that would actually more come into play later, like once we're building the hull and seeing what space after we've covered up all these gun batteries what space we have to work with in the hull. I think that's how that would actually go, uh, but I'm not entirely positive on that front. I do not know that these will be concealed or not. They may just be, in, uh, what's the word, embedded, like within the ship to where you can't see them from the outside and there's just compartments that are open. Um, you'll notice in my hotbar I do have things to play around with. I have the retractable stairs from the S mod. Um, the glass stairwell or stairs wall and glass stairs floor. I can't remember what the difference is on these, so I had them both. I think it's angle of the slats. Yeah, I think yeah, I think one goes one way and one goes another way in terms of like how they're oriented. I don't know. Let's find that out actually. Um. Oh, pff, I removed my uh my flight seat. I forgot about that. Okay, and we'll just put one like that. And do I have a flight seat set up anywhere? I feel like I should. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, I feel like I should. Okay. So... What I'm thinking is, if I can put these, like, above where the barrels sit or something, and these come out at an angle, uh, it may work out, I don't know. So it's going to be... Oh, I had mirror mode on. Did not think about that. Okay. And the first one is the wall. Or floor. First one's floor, the second one is the wall. So, theoretically, you could have something like this. If the ship is angled, it would look more from this direction, so I apologize for the orientation there. I didn't know how they were going to extend. Um, this one makes more sense to me. It conceals more, it covers more. Um, the only problem with this is... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Because I would need to place it like this so that when it retracted, it was out of the way. So you'd actually be looking at it from this point of view. Which, in that case... Eh, um... This one actually isn't bad. I say that mostly because it has no... I don't like these weird black bars. I'm not a fan of those. Technically speaking, though, I mean, this makes more sense because looking straight on it, it's more concealed. This one, you have more slats through it 
type of thing. Uh, but from the side point of view... I don't know, I might end up going with the floor... Or, I mean, the wall one. But yeah, because that way, you're looking at it from this point of view. And... Then... When you went to fire the weapon, these would, like, retract and get out of the way. Again, the biggest problem with this is testing to make sure that there are no collisions. In reality, it would work. In the game, I don't know, because you have to take into account all the collision boxes. Um, so when we get the hull built and we have the compartments open for these gun batteries, we're going to have to test that and figure out if those would work or not. Um, alright. I know we're getting a little bit long on this episode. It was not my intent. Um, but this was kind of one of those, we're not really getting a whole lot done, per se. Um, but I wanted to kind of explain a bit of my thought process. And what I'm kind of thinking about doing for this area. Now, this part is going to be somewhat tricky. Uh, I might go with an exposed type of interior in that you'll see these, except for this part. Over here, we're definitely going to... Ha actually, I don't, I don't know why I did these blocks. I don't need them this way. I'm trying to use the vanilla block stuff... Um, well, actually, let's do at least two that way, and then the rest of this will go this way. We might end up switching that. I'm not sure yet, because that might open up a bit. Um, I've actually got a little bit of an interesting design I want to try on that section in there. Um, and of course, probably in the next episode, we'll end up dealing with our airlock situation. Because we do need to get rid of... Er, not get rid of, but we need to fix that to where it's completed. That's... Besides the main gun battery room here that we're working on... I think... Not 100% positive, but I, I think... That the airlock... Is probably going to be the last actual, like, room-type area we have to work on. Unless we decide... Uh, I would like thoughts and suggestions on what to put in here. I guess this can just stay a hallway, but we could... We do have a little bit of room there if we wanted some kind of small room. Uh, we could fit one in there. But I honestly don't know what else to do. I mean, I've got... Um, we have... And again, this is temporary. This will end up being the airlock, so I don't know if this will actually stay this way or not. I'm just kind of trying to get this section done. So I'm. these might be somewhat placeholders at the moment. It's kind of one of those time will tell. And comment suggestions and things like that. Uh, but yeah, that just doesn't look like enough room to me down there at the airlock with these walls in place. Uh, so we might not have this section here we might do it a little differently. I'm not sure yet. Alright, so here's our walls. Now from here, uh, what I may do, I don't know what the rest of this will be, but what we can do here is I may do a one by one room. And what I mean by that is we might just go ahead and cover this ceiling. And we can bring this in here. I don't really know what this is here for, to be honest. I probably just broke something. It's like now something's floating or, or something. I don't know. Alright, I'm not going to worry about the rest of that. 
So this is what I was talking about, that we can do kind of just a hallway. We don't really need it to be some big, tall opening. And that will also allow us to cover up the conveyor sections. And it actually meshes well with the hangar entrance. Sweet. Perfect. All right. Uh, door. We need a door. Uh, I don't know which one to use. Ooh, we could put a black door. Make it look more menacing. And I never can remember which way is up with these doors. Okay, red button faces up and to the right. Okay. So that's interesting that, like, the rest of the ship, you've got these gray doors. And then, like, the command room or whatever, it's like a black door. Though we could actually recolor the rest of the doors. Those do look pretty cool. Uh, Alright, so in here... I'm actually going to get rid of this. I'm not on mirror mode anymore. And let's do a row like this. Um, trying to think how I want to do this. I know what I want to do. I don't know how it will work in the game. Um, I don't know if I can get away with... Let's add a layer here. I don't know if I'm going to keep this just because of where these turrets or these uh, cannons are sitting. I would like to do some glass stuff is what I wanted to do. Not because you're going to be seeing it on the outside because it would look more like they can view the... Um, the cannons, like for maintenance type thing. Uh, not really because it'd be... Not really because it would make sense like, oh, you can see the command console from the outside. That's not really what I was going for. Uh, oh, I could do... Interesting. What I just realized is I could do these types of blocks that actually mesh with the wall. But what I was actually going for was some kind of like dome shaped. So I'm going to... <gasps> Ooh, what if... Could I do that? I never thought about doing this before. This might get... A little weird. <laughs> Wait, why is that? Did I seriously do all of these in the wrong color? Please don't tell me I did that. I probably did. That's the right color. No? Well... Alrighty then. It just didn't let me select the color off of those. My game is just so laggy right now, it doesn't know what to do. So I could do something like this. But I honestly don't know how to continue this. Like, I guess I just keep flipping it? Like, this is an interesting idea. I've never really tried this before. And it kind of does seem to be working. Oops, let me get out of the way. Oh, the piston's right. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, tell you what, I want to see the end result of this in the end of the episode, so I'm going to pause it here because we're way over on our time normally. So let me finish this up and see what it looks like, and then I'll wrap this episode up. Alright, so here's what I came up with, which looks much different than what I expected, but it's kind of one of those that, 
you just gotta work with the blocks, and sometimes the blocks are really, really persnickety with their collisions and such. Um, I did have to remove one of the catwalk sections here just so that this was a sealed space, because otherwise uh, we ran into another one of those problems where the catwalk went like this and you could just walk under here and there was nothing sealing it, which didn't look good at all. So I ended up going with glass all the way around to kind of give it that extended feel. Like, um, I always noticed, I didn't do enough of that in this build, but I noticed in like, um, I, it makes me think of like A New Hope, where when you look at the shield generators on the Death Star, how they're like off on some floating catwalk that isn't really mounted to a wall or anything. Um, but I couldn't make up my mind with these offshoot sections. Uh, so I put one here, so they would kind of look like this. When you walked in, you got your main console and some kind of side console. And then you got this one over here, which is more like a control console and then like a desk area for other workers kind of thing. So let me know which one you guys like more. Um, I did try... I don't know if this is room is technically sealed or not. Uh, I tried to seal this glass section. I hate these corners because there is no just, like, corner block. Um, I suppose in hindsight, I could have brought down another curve on its side and gone down that way and then made it... But it didn't go out far enough to allow me to build anything. Um, if I did that, which I can do... I can't do that. But if I were to do that, it would mean that this is the only console that would be available and it would be just a single row thing. And even that I'm not so sure about because I would have to come down right where this console is and it wouldn't work. These uh, rounded ones are right where the pistons would let me build. Anything past that and it wouldn't let me build on it, so I brought it back one and just started to go down. And we'll show, or I'll show you guys what it looks like on the outside so you might get a better understanding of exactly what I'm talking about. Because sometimes that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, so here we go. So again, you have to think in terms of collision boxes. So from this area on, if you tried to build on these, it was just giving me a bunch of errors and it wouldn't let me build anything. So rather than continue to go forward, I ended up hooking it down, but then when we got down here, it opens up a bit more, so I built out to give myself more space so that then we could actually put something in there and make it useful. Um, and again, just keep in mind, this was not designed for... Um, to be seen from the outside. It was built to... wait... What is that? That's weird. Did I do that? On, if I did that on the other side, it's okay. Yeah, I guess I did. Weird. I have these turned in a funky manner. I should have had them the other way around. Oh well, whatever. Um, I'm, not, I'm not worried about that kind of detail. So, yeah. So let me know what you guys think about all that in the comments. In the meantime, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.